Uh, I got to make a pre-workout, and then I'm just going to listen to some tunes. I like to listen to some music before we work out, and then we'll hit chest, all right? She is so good. All right, let's get it. So there's one of two ways I like to hit chest. I'll either start at the bench press and see basically where my max strength is, and I usually do that on cycle. The second way is I'll either warm up on a machine or dumbbells. I wanted to get loose on machine. It's my first upper body workout of the week. It's Friday. Um, so we're gonna start here, and essentially I'm gonna give you my chest routine, um, but I'm gonna substitute maybe a workout or two for something else when I'm going for hypertrophy. It's more about sets, reps, volume, uh, in a more controlled manner. Like, I just like hitting machines. A lot of people, I don't know if they don't like to hit them or they don't utilize them enough, but a machine, whether you're beginner, intermediate, or advanced, this is a fixed access. There, your, your, your body can't make an error of putting this one up and this one down. It's just completely level and easy. So I do think machines get overlooked a lot, but if you go and look at an IFBB open bodybuilder, they're on machines for good reason. So, people always talk about reps. I think it's more about how you feel and then doing five more reps on top of that. Sets, three to four um, per workout, typically. Unless you're gonna go till failure, I think one to two is, is pretty good, but going till failure, I like to save to the end. Okay, so with that said, let's get it. <sighs> one set at 135. And today I'm just gauging my strength. This felt good, I hit it for eight. I'll do another set at eight, and then I'll either lower or I'll go, uh, I'll, I'll up the weight for my last set. If I lower it, I'll go for like 10 reps. Again, I think I'll be feeling it at that point. Maybe I push an extra two. Uh, and if I go higher with the weight, two, three, maybe four, uh, four reps, and then I'm moving on to something else. You know, people like to uh, lift with a partner a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I like to lift by myself most of the time. I like to be in solitude. Uh, and kind of have no distractions, listen to my music. Yeah. Yeah, that's nine. This is what I'm talking about. Right about 10 is. Ooh. It's about to make you drop the camera. We're going to superset incline flies. But if you watched the first time we threw up a video in the gym, I showed you a unique way to do them. It was a hammerhead, meaning. Your flies were like this, right? So we're gonna throw those up eight to 10 times, maybe 12, maybe six. It's always about how you feel and going a little extra. And then after that, we'll go straight to a superset where we do traditional, all right? So I'll cut it short. You don't need to hit that number just because your ego wants you to. Ah. Yeah, six and six. Now, you're trying to break through a plateau and you're, and you're not able to get to the other side. Remember what I said at the beginning of the workout, I go, if you wanna, you wanna get good at that lift, you need to live at it and you need to live at it right when you start your workout. If you're trying to get a better bench, that's the first workout you hit, that's where you have most optimal strength. If you're not getting those numbers up after a month or so, everything's on point, but that's not working, I would say take that lift, give it your all in the middle, not at the end, I would say give it, the, give it your all at the middle and start multiplying reps. Maybe go lower uh, on the weight, but it's, it's about kind of throwing some confusion to your body. Oh, we're not used to this. Is now, this was at the beginning of the workout at a different workload. Your, your muscles think like your mind. So right now, I'm gonna go hundreds. Typically, I would hit an incline dumbbell uh, bench sooner than this, but uh, we're gonna do it right now. And I'm gonna get a great pump from it, I guarantee you. Yeah, it's heavy today. Woo. And I don't want to alternate. I want to do it like this because I'm also working uh, my, le my left, excuse me, isometrically as well. So I'm stabilizing with my left, contracting, motherfucker, get up with my right. Ooh. Ooh. If I can get four here, which I'm not. Ooh. That was good. All right, the best workout 
of the workout I'm gonna show you right now. My ego would like to believe I made these up. Common sense would tell me decades of lifting, somebody has, has discovered these, but they're not common. I don't see anybody do this, and it's my favorite workout to do for upper chest for hypertrophy. Strength-wise, I would probably say uh, dumbbell incline. But anyways, you wanna go, so if you have a tower like this, and you could do them on a different tower, but if you have something like this, this is pretty universal. A lot of people have these at their gym or even at their home. I go on this where I can see two, uh, two opening holes. That's where I can see, so it's on the third. Bring it right here. Let's actually go one more in. So now we're just on the second notch. Okay. And we're essentially level. So the elbows go upward and I'm just pressing and I'm contracting my upper chest. I didn't have an upper chest until I took gear. And then once I took gear, I started doing different things. And you can really spot treat when you're on gear. It's like just throwing on some more marble or more clay. And this is one of the best workouts I've ever spot treated with. And you'll know what I mean. It's just, it feels so good. You can do this two different ways. You can go three, four sets, you can go nine, 10, and you can make it like a 30 year workout. But again, guys, we're just retracting back, pushing forward. This is where I got that swole where it's like, now I can ask for IDs at the door. It's like a bouncer, like the fuck out, you're hot, come in. Do a couple more workouts, yeah? So three, four sets is what I'm doing here. I would be lying if I, if I said I had a set routine. I really don't. I have a traditional 80% of what I do for my workout I always execute. Then there's always 20% where it's not planned. Something could be taken, I, I improvise. I'm already here, it's convenient. Now I'm gonna do, de or I'm gonna do, uh, I don't even know what they're called. I'd be honest, I'd be lying to, to even come up with a name. I'm just gonna do flies like that. I've never been one to study workouts like that. I've just always got a feel for machines and given my own name like this. When you lay supine on the bench and you bring the dumbbell like that, I call those dumbbell drags. I'm sure that's not what they're called, but it's just a little fun fact. I'm also dyslexic. If it feels good, you keep doing it. Why do you have to get off? Cause you hit your, even when I'm talking like three to four sets, if it feels really good and you got a really smooth, engaging, rewarding pump, you're hitting all those adjectives, stay on for another two sets. Do another five reps per set. Who's, who's stopping you? There's really no set system to grow muscle the way you wanna grow muscle. It's just constantly throwing your body a curveball, making it challenging, making sure you get a pump, working through the pump. Don't be the guy that gets the pump and leaves. The most progress is once you get the pump and you keep going. Okay, I tore the fibers, blood's going to the muscle, keep tearing. That's why I love gear because when I was doing natty, when I was natty for eight years and then I started going on steroids, I really appreciated it. So I would stay in the gym an extra 30 minutes. I'd go a lot harder. It's like a pitcher that's like throwing 99 miles per hour. He started the game, he's deep into the seventh, he's still throwing 98, 99. Steroids let you do that. And I'm not referring to pitching, I'm saying steroids let you, you know, go deep into the workout and tear into the muscle. At same velocity, same, same uh, weight, higher intensity. Anything with the TRX, I get hard for, uh, no lie because I get to control the difficulty on TRX. I've said this before, it's not just a push up. I get to control depth, I get to sink, get a stretch, I'm feeling it right now, and I'll push through my palms. Your palms in any chest workout are gonna localize the burn in anything that you're doing. So, look at how I'm on all my palms. I don't need to grip it. That's with anything with chest. I don't need to grip it. Good stretch, pushing up. Do one set for 10, three sets for 12, all up to you. Now I want to work higher, right? So I was going right here to work mid. Now I can go up right here. What do you think I'm hitting? Upper. <laughs> and TRX is always overlooked and I have no idea why. The guy who created this made 20 million bucks for a reason. It's a, it's a good fucking invention. Today we're just going to do chess. And when I'm on cycle, it's just, you know, the bigger muscle groups get dedication, right? Chest gets a chest day, leg gets a leg day, back gets a back day. But if you're natty, PCT, um, you know, you're, you're crushing it on just a cruise, I, I do like to switch it up and go chest and tries. 
or chest and shoulders uh, and give my chest a little bit of a break. Um, but again, I haven't hit my upper body this whole week, so it just feels really good. So I'm just gonna keep dialing in on chest. We'll do a couple more workouts and go get some burgers. Assisted dips. This is lower chest. Don't, don't be the guy on decline barbell bench. It's not it. This is really, really good. We can get really low, feel stretch. Again, we're always about the stretch. I like assisted more than regular dips. So let's take this out of it. I just start cranking out dips, right? It's good, it's good. But now I'm gonna put this back into it. I'm gonna sink down. Now I can hold it and I can push up through what? My palms, really controlled. This is better spot treatment for the muscle. This is better pump in that location. I feel it way, way more because I get to control everything. I think a lot of people just ego gets the best of them and they want to see how many they can reps they can get on pull-ups and dips when really bodybuilding and building an aesthetic physique is not about how many reps you can do. Usually the best looking guys in the gym aren't the strongest. You have to pick what you want to do. Pec deck, I'm going to go heavy. I like it two dials. Open, that. Everybody goes here all the time. I always raise the seat to work higher on my chest. I bring it up and I grab right here like that. And that's upper chest as fuck. Grab the back like this. I, I never like to grab right here. Grab right here. If anything, if I'm going for this, this height, I'll go right here. Give me more range of motion. Just makes sense. But right here, now I get to work more nodule, like right in the middle. Different grip. Nobody does this. I don't know why. That's a wrap. So my coaching program is like, it's pretty, it's pretty booked. So there's like a waiting list now. But basketball coaching is in session. Bruh. This over here. Over here. All right, in the future, I'll be taking you guys uh, from the gym and to my kitchen. So I'll be showing you my, my workouts and also how I cook, what I eat. Uh, but today, I've been, you know, kind of on a bender with food. I'm not eating that healthy. And uh, point in case, we're at Chick-fil-A right now and we're gonna stuff our face. Max is gonna keep me company because I'm sick and tired of eating all this food by myself. So I'm gonna get some milkshakes for the boys and uh, we'll see what else we get here right now. We got our fries, burger, another burger, uh, nuggets. As you can tell, I'm not watching what I eat right now. The one thing I, I love about being off cycle or just being on like a light cruise, I can eat what I want and I don't gain weight. If I'm on a little bit of trend or if I'm, if I'm on like a couple orals or whatever the case may be, it sticks to my hips a lot more if I'm not putting the most output in the gym. And right now I'm, I'm training, but I'm not training like that hard. So I can get away with a lot more. When I start throwing in the peptides in about a week or two, I think that's when I commence my, my winter blast, even though it's not gonna really be a blast, but it's gonna be a cycle. And I'm gonna go for a 405 bench. We'll see if I hit it. Uh, I'm pretty focused, pretty dedicated right now. I, I think the one thing that got away from me this past summer is I, I wanted to do a cut, and I did, but it wasn't as good as the year prior. When I first like got out of retirement, I did my cycle because I wasn't as focused, sure, but I think uh, I just got used to just going out and eating and, and doing a lot of dates, and I uh, even if I fasted for the whole day and I started eating, I was eating a lot of food because uh, I was just living good. I was going on vacation and doing all that stuff. So reset it a little bit. Uh, I'm focused, guys, and I uh, hope you liked the content today. I will be taking you into the kitchen instead of uh, shoving all this food down my face next time, and we'll catch you.